What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video I am going to be showing you how you can install MI18 on your eligible device well yeah I am not going to show you how you can just install it on any kind of Xiaomi phone that's not possible but if your phone is eligible I am going to show you how you can install it with a working play store as you can see I have the play store fully working I can just uh, tap to install and the app will begin installation there you go it's now downloading so yeah let's just begin so you will need just a bit of a knowledge of what you're doing and a backup of your whole data yes your device could wipe itself as we are actually decrypting your device so if you are already on android oreo update which is actually necessary in order to do this procedure cause of the vendor partitions then yeah you should take a whole backup of your phone and then the last thing which is required over here is unlock bootloader well if you're asking me devang no other youtuber showed me to unlock my bootloader it was just sign up well that doesn't actually work in india cause for that to work you will need a china phone on a china rom with a china beta rom and then you can get a build and then the places are also now full so yeah good luck with that so yeah unlocking bootloader is a must in order to follow this procedure and I actually missed to show you guys two things which i missed in my actual review of this thing well if you tap over here multiple times it will give you an option for adding a cover image so let's just do that let's just adjust this flower over here tap ok and there you go you can actually add a header image over there of your family kids or anything that you like but that is kind of cool touch i don't know how xiaomi just doesn't tell about anyone like this and another thing that i actually forgot to show you guys is if you are using the full screen navigations which i extremely love you can quickly switch your apps just like this if you go to settings you can just swipe for back and just stretch it there you go i quickly switch to messages again if i would to go to the settings just swipe for back stretch it there you go it's so convenient and let's just now get to the installation so power off your device first of all and uh, hop on to the pc and once you're on to your pc you have to just go to this website everything will be provided in the description and as you can see i'm already into the xiaomi tab let's just scroll down till my device as you can see it's the last phone over here redmi note 5 pro and you will find all the xiaomi phones like mix 2 mix 2s which are actually supported like the mi 5 2 as you can see gemini over there but let's just choose for my wired then scroll down primary america server which is the fastest one i guess and there you go there is the img let's just select it buy red it will start downloading once it has been downloaded let's just go to where it's downloaded actually and then you have to just drag the top into the adb folder just like that and then you have to just plug your phone into the fast boot mode so if you're already unlocked your phone you must be knowing it by pressing the volume down and the power at the same time as you can see we are now in the fast boot connect your phone over here and then just rename the recovery to something simple like just wired there you go and then you have to open the cmd now once you're into the cmd you have to type in fast boot devices as you can see my device is actually detected over here that means everything is okay then you have to type in fast boot flash recovery wired dot img hit enter now it will actually fail for me because i've already done it but you have to just hit enter as you can see it just failed for me because the recovery is actually already written and once that is done you have to actually boot your phone into your top recovery so in order to do that you have to press power and the volume up at the same time wait for a little vibration after this you have to just keep your phone aside and copy these three files which would be the actual rom the g apps and the no variety zip cause yeah in order to boot mi you will need to decrypt your phone and lazy flasher has not been updated so we will use the latest version of the no variety encrypt so let's just drag these three into the internal storage as you can see i've already done it so no worries at all and then you have to just hop onto your phone now once you're onto your phone you have to just go to wipe advanced wipe dial wick cache data system and vendor now there is no need of internal storage but MIUI will do itself if your phone is not encrypted then swipe to wipe go to home go to install scroll down then you have to select the actual rom add more zips then the g apps add more zips and then no variety encrypt confirm to flash this will take two or three minutes and well under just two minutes it's been done reboot the system right away do not install there you go now our phone is booting up now actual boot up will actually take two to three minutes and well under just three minutes the phone is back up now you have to actually activate to your device over here so let's just go to wlan there you go it has been connected go back activate the actual device activate now let's just set up the phone quickly go next english skip next next skip the step next 
I don't want it. Don't use. Next. Next. Location of. Next. Let's just use the new limitless theme. Next. Applying the theme. And that was pretty quick. No full screen gestures. I want it. I love it. I'm done. Setup complete. And swipe to another system. Well, that's pretty weird. Just like this or this. Wow. Now, if you don't actually see the Play Store over here, it's okay. It will actually appear after a few minutes, as you can see over here. Wow, it's pretty crazy that even though there is space, it just appears on the second page. So let's just go to it. As you can see, it's checking the info. So as you can see, it's pretty weird to get around this actual keyboard. So let's just go to the settings quickly to switch it around. Additional settings, language and input, current keyboard, choose keyboards, go to Gboard and enable it. Go back. As you can see, now current keyboard should be Gboard. And then go back to the Play Store again and things would be much more simpler than before. And there you go, we have a fully working Play Store over here. Now let's just again try to install PUBG. Like why not, it's the best game available on the Play Store. As you can see, it has begun. So yeah, we have a fully working Play Store over here. And that's pretty much it. You have a full MIUI 10 on your Redmi Note 5 Pro or anything that you like, which supports MIUI 10. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more Redmi Note 5 Pro videos specifically, please subscribe down there and you can also check my other videos like how to turn this thing into a Pixel 2 and see the next one. Peace.